Billionaires say tax me. This is a fascinating story. It's in The Guardian today by uh, Rupert Needle, or Neat, I guess. Uh, more than 250 billionaires and millionaires are demanding that the political elite meeting at the World Economic Forum in Davos introduce, introduce wealth taxes to help pay for better public services around the world. This is the, uh, this open letter. It was signed by uh, Abigail Disney, the heir, heir to the Disney fortune. Um, uh, Valerie Rockefeller, the heir to the Rockefeller fortune. Uh, Logan, uh, excuse me, uh, Brian Cox, the guy who played Ro Logan Roy, but is himself a, a very, very wealthy individual. Uh, 17 uh, signatories from 17 different countries, billionaires and multimillionaires, who signed this letter. And the letter says, our request is simple. We ask you to tax us, the very richest in society. This will not fundamentally alter our standard of living, nor deprive our children, nor harm our nation's economic growth. But it will turn extreme and unproductive private wealth into an investment for our common democratic future. They go on to say, uh, we are the people who benefit most from the status quo, but inequality has reached a tipping point and its cost to our economic, social, societal, and ecological stability risk is severe and growing every day. In short, we need action now. And then there's a, a poll that was done by Patriotic Millionaires. We've had Morris Pearl on the program a number of times, one of the co-founders, and I think he's the co-president uh, this year of the group, and, and they polled uh, people across all 20 of the G20 countries, uh, people exclusively polling people who had more than a million dollars in investable assets, in other words, who were, who were millionaires beyond the value of their house. That puts them in the top 5% of, 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 the, of the world or uh, of the G20 countries. And what they found was that 74% of these wealthy people, these top 5% people, 74% of them said we should raise taxes. 58% uh, wanted uh, not just to raise income taxes on rich people, on the morbidly rich, but they also wanted uh, the introduction of a 2% wealth tax on people who have wealth in excess of $10 million. 54% said that they thought that extreme wealth is a threat to democracy. The, you know, one of the authors of the, the letter, this is a British uh, farmer turned entrepreneur, a guy who started a, uh, a vegetable box delivery company in the UK that made him a billionaire. He said this, uh, his name is uh, Guy Singh Watson. He said, this poll seems to show that the whole world, including the richest people, want to tax the super rich. So where on earth is the leadership from our elected representatives who have the power to actually do it? Uh, Brian Cox, who is not only a multimillionaire, but also an Emmy and Golden Globe winning actor who plays a billionaire, he played Logan Roy, you know, the, the kind of Rupert Murdoch character in Secession. He said, we are living in a second gilded age. Billionaires are wielding their extreme wealth to accumulate political power and influence, simultaneously undermining democracy and the global economy. It's long time past to act. It's long past time to act. If our elected officials refuse to address this concentration of money and power, the consequences will be dire. I would argue that the consequences already are dire. We are seeing absolute, uh, for example, in, just in Congress, we're seeing absolute legislative gridlock. Congress, the only consequential thing in, a, in a, you know, a year and a half that the Republicans, or a year that the Republicans have controlled the House of Representatives, the only consequential thing that they passed, the only law that they passed that wasn't you know, naming a post office, was replacing the little pins that they have on their lapels. Cost 10 grand or something like that for a new set of pins. This was their big accomplishment. Chip Roy was right. You can't name a single thing that the Republicans have done in the House of Representatives. And now you've got Mike Johnson saying he's not gonna do anything more. Why? Because the billionaires own them and the billionaires don't want anything happening because you know they're afraid it might raise their taxes. We'll be back.